An Iranian commander said the Air Force has started to develop a heavy fighter jet after its success in manufacturing the Khosr warplane. In an interview with Tasnim, Iranian Air Force Deputy Commander Brigadier General Hamid Vahedi said the process of manufacturing a homegrown heavy fighter jet has begun. He said local experts came up with the idea of manufacturing a heavy fighter jet after the successful production of Khosr, an Iranian jet with indigenized avionics and homegrown engines that, contrary to claims raised by critics, has nothing to do with the F-5 fighter aircraft. The general also pointed to military projects to upgrade the radar capabilities of the Air Force's planes, saying good progress has been made in this field. Iran has also achieved great success in increasing the stealth capabilities of various types of aircraft, Brigadier General Vahedi said, noting that the new achievements will be unveiled after final tests. The commander highlighted Iran's progress in developing air-launched standoff missiles, saying local experts have extended the range of Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile, which is mounted on the F-5 jet, from 5 miles to 12 miles. This enhanced range would be very effective in aerial combats, he added. The general further pointed to the breakthrough that Iran has made in the drone industry, saying the homegrown carrier pilotless aircraft has successfully dropped a 500-pound bomb, which is going to become a weapon with pinpoint accuracy. The Air Force has also furnished the Abbabal 3 drones with rockets, Behetti said, adding that programs are underway to equip the Abbabal and Cayman UAVs with Keen 1 and Keen 5 smart bombs. Iran has in recent years made great headways in manufacturing a broad range of military equipment, including air defense systems that use cutting-edge technologies. Tehran has repeatedly stressed that its military might is defensive in nature and poses no threat to other countries. The aircraft would follow on from the success of the Khosr lightweight fighter program, with the jet entering service in 2018 and today in serial production. The Khosr is closely derived from the American F-5E Tiger II third-generation lightweight platform, for which Iran was one of the largest export clients in the world, and is considered a fourth-generation aircraft by the Iranian military due to its advanced avionics, sensors and electronic warfare systems. This has led to widespread speculation that Iran's heavyweight fighter could be based on one of its more powerful American jets, either the F-4E Phantom or the F-14A Tomcat. The F-14 is notably the only fighter in Iranian service today which would be classified as a heavyweight and is the heaviest fourth-generation aircraft in service anywhere in the world today, which was designed for air to air combat. Iran's defense sector has developed an advanced industrial base for servicing the F-14 and has made over 300 modifications to the design, including replacing its radar, avionics and electronic warfare systems, and equipping it with new longer-ranged air-to-air missiles. As the U.S. pushes for an arms embargo against the country, which would prevent it from acquiring heavyweight jets from abroad, developing such a jet domestically could be a much more cost-effective option. Iran notably developed advanced long-ranged air-to-air missiles to equip its F-14 fighters, the Faker 90, which is its only class of modern missile of its kind in service. It is highly possible that a new heavyweight fighter will be designed to carry the Faker 90, although the sheer size of the munition means the heavy fighter would need to be from the same weight range as the F-14. Although the F-14A is a relatively old fighter, an indigenous jet derived from it could be much more advanced and is likely to benefit from technical assistance from China and North Korea, which have bolstered Iran's defense sector with many key technologies. It is possible that Iran's heavyweight fighter will be based on another one of its fighter classes, possibly even taking inspiration from its Soviet-built MiG-29A platforms, which are its newest foreign-sourced aircraft in service, and that the Iranian definition for a heavyweight jet will not correspond to the more general international definitions, but instead be classified relative to the very light weight of the Khosr. The MiG-29A, alongside the F-4E, are Iran's only classes of medium fighter with an air-to-air -air combat capability. 
Should Iran's heavyweight fighter turn out to be from the medium weight range, it would provide a lighter complement to actual heavyweight fighters acquired from abroad, with the country reported to have shown considerable interest in acquiring either Su-30SM or Su-57 jets from Russia.